Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, and today we're looking at some new gameplay from the upcoming first person shooter from Riot Games called Valorant. This gameplay was just released, so let's go and check it out, and then we'll do a comprehensive breakdown afterwards. Uh, can I get a gun? Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna get the Orbit A again. I'll have my ult. Y'all notice? It's real quiet in here. Quiet. It's like a library out here. <laughs> oh my <gosh. laughs> Should we... Should we do it? Should we go? I think Kuzi gassed himself out. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, Sometimes it happens, dead. you know? That's that garage. That garage, yeah. Dylan, will you have to cover my body if I use it up here? Oh! Nice Embarrassing! Start. Nice kill, the door. Do you help? Nah, I'm good. That was really good. Close! Alright. Up sewer. Uh, Sova in mid. Help. help. No. I'm gonna lean A here. You think they're coming? Locking sight! No. Pick up B, pick up B. Rez. That's fine, it's fine. Long A. Sewer, right? Up, I can help you get out. <gasps> oh! hey. I'm out. The one mid? One still on grass. I'm just ulting your oh, front of B. Big, big crack, I'm gonna dude. drone outside of A lawn just to check. Welcome to my world. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I've got dags we can retake together. Oh, oh get me out of here! Okay, okay. Put the other one. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way with Dax. Uh, let me go uh, first with my dart. So, so. There they are. Right, in the corners. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Close left. Stim pack. Oh, Alright, let's do this. One in the smoke cloud. One enemy left. Alright, let's go. All together, all together. He was right here. Player oh, oh, standing. Oh, not like this. Yeah! What? what? The raid boss. Oh my! No, not like this! Not like this! Okay, okay. Let's get that bolt. All right, so that was a lot to take in. So let's get straight into it and break it down. First frame of the video, the buy menu at the start of the round. You've got sidearms, SMGs, rifles, sniper rifles, heavy weapons, and shotguns, along with shields and abilities. So you have to go and purchase your abilities rather than having all of them from the very start. More specifically, you have one ultimate ability that you have to go and earn, and we'll talk about that later. One main ability that's usable every single round, and then two purchasable abilities, which are basically like utility in a way. Skipping further, one of the teammates goes and asks, can I get a weapon? And this person goes and opens up his buy menu and then purchases that weapon for him. A feature that we don't see in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It's more, you buy the weapon and then give it to the person. Here, it's much more automatic. You can buy it straight from the menu. We also get a first look at the game's in-game user face. Top left-hand corner, a rotating map. Top of the screen, the characters and how many rounds each team has won. But most importantly, at the bottom of the screen, the abilities. As we'll see throughout this gameplay, each ability has a certain amount of charges, and when you use those charges, I believe you can't go and use it for the rest of the round. But with the ultimate ability on the very far right hand side, that goes and charges up. And so that's an ability that you'll only be able to go and use maybe once per round, once every two rounds, not 100% sure right now. The next part of this gameplay gives us a brief introduction into the movement of Valorant. And as you can see, it looks very Counter-Strike Global Offensive-like. You run around with your knife, if you feel very, very grounded. However, the abilities, when they come out, that gives you a completely new dimension. As you can see, this character rose up, flew up a little bit, and boom, you've now got a vertical advantage. We've got a little bit more knife swinging, pull out the sniper. It has a CSGO tone of holding angles and waiting for someone to make a pick. These next parts go and show a lot about the gameplay dynamic of Valorant. Top of your screen, there is a countdown time, it's ticking down to zero, and a blue force field in the middle of your screen. Now from what I can see, this is a physical force field, nobody can go past it, however, you might be able to go and shoot through it. It's going ticking down to zero, these players are rubbing up against it, then it goes and drops in again straight into combat. Now a blue orb, bottom left hand corner goes and spawns, and this character is capturing it. Once it captures, she's able to use one of her abilities, which puts a smoke screen down. 
One thing you might not have noticed Vori is the mechanic to unlock your ultimate ability. As you can see there is one bulb that isn't filled, it's on the right hand side in the center part of your screen. Now when she goes and captures this orb and the smoke screen gets activated, a smoke barrier, that bulb gets filled and the ultimate ability is unlocked. We'll see that you can get further ult charges from getting kills and completing objectives, for example defusing the bomb. Alright, so she's put the barrier up, however she's working with a teammate who fires an arrow that exposes the position of the enemies through this wall. Goes and gets a headshot, goes and gets that pick, very very quick time to kill, basically shot once in the head, maybe once in the body, that person was dead, then moves back. We then see the death screen and it shows a lot of information. Who you're being killed by, incoming damage, outgoing damage, where you're being shot by, which weapon as well. A lot of information on the screen right here. This next part is some general gameplay. We've got the smoke screen right here. This person's running to go and help their teammates. Puts down one of these smoke bubbles, which goes and blocks vision. A wall's up, goes and fires that arrow, goes and sees um, the enemy, takes them out with a headshot. This character has her knives out, her ultimate ability, but also puts down a smoke so a teammate can go and get out of that choke point. Now going and holding down this area, this person doesn't have their ult, however has a drone type of ability which can go and fire a ball. This game has got everything right now. Now this is a lot to take in. The spike has been planted, which is basically the bomb, and a decay field has been put up around this site. If you're inside the decay, you go and take damage very, very quick. Now from what I can go and see, this poison cloud is actually the ultimate ability from one of the characters in this game. So overall, abilities, ultimate abilities in this game, very, very strong indeed. This person goes and fires their arrow, goes and sees where some of the enemies are. And now the teammates, they're going to go and rush in and try to take the site. This person puts down a stim pack, doesn't get to it so they don't go and get the health, and that push kind of failed. The other teammates are flanking around the side with their ultimates, however both of them die and it's down to a 1v1 situation. Now a very very big point right here, this person had 1 HP and they were still in the decay field. That means you can't go and die from it, however you can be brought, brought very 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 low. Now when you go and leave the decay field, you go and gain your health back very very quickly, that person gets a headshot off and then goes and defuses the bomb. His teammate then goes and says, pick up that sniper rifle, of course sniper rifles are more expensive than assault rifles, so they go and save some money. Alright, so second pass for you, I want to look at this again. This person fires their arrow, it hits the wall, so that is a solid wall in comparison to the smoke one we saw before, and they go and get their kill. They go and back up towards this hidey hole, and they go and tell their teammate, hey, I need a little bit of help to go and get out of this situation, another enemy might be going and looking. So that person goes and puts down that little smoke circle, basically like a smoke grenade, you can't go and see through it. That person goes back to the wars the bomb site now. So these abilities can be offensive but also can be uh, defensive used as replacements to let's say the smoke grenades in Counter-Strike. Important thing to mention, when the round is in this getting ready stage of where you can go and take your positions but you can't actually walk to the other side of the map, you can go and see the weapons that your uh, teammates have. And this is all part of right strategy, they do it with League of Legends as well, to try to give you as much information as possible without actually needing to go to talk to your teammates. You can go to your bio men, you can see what weapons, what character they're playing. It's all very easy to pick up. Alright, let's go and revisit that drone. Where did that come from? I totally didn't expect a drone to be in Valorant, but as you can see, this person goes and dips to the side, then goes and pulls out their drone, which as you can see only has one bar, so this is a one-time use per round potentially. Not 100% sure. But goes and busts out the drone, it has a fire bolt, but more importantly, you can go and get good vantage points and see where the enemies are without actually putting yourself in danger. This is more of a tactical thing rather than actually an offensive ability. One thing to go and mention while we're looking at this spike planting section is that there is three sites on this map. We've got A, B and C and everybody's rushing towards C to go and defuse that spike. Now, not 100% sure if B is actually a bomb site or rather just like a call out, but it seems like it could potentially be a free bomb site map, which is a very, very, very weird mechanic. However, we'll have to go and see in the future if this is actually it. 
You can also see this player being affected by the Decay debuff, but also being buffed by the Combat Stim. However, he doesn't die in the Decay Zone, might be because of the Combat Stim, not 100% sure. He then goes outside, gains a lot of health in a short amount of time, takes out that player, and that might be the gain of health very, very quickly, maybe because of the Combat Stim, not 100% sure right now. He then goes and defuses the Spike, and as you can see, the Poison Cloud has gone away, that has gone and exploded. Inspired if it is an ultimate ability and then he goes and wins the round. Now before you guys go and say if I've missed anything, if I've said something incorrect in your opinion, go and tell me in the comment section below. I'd love to go and have a discussion about it. Now in regards to the game, I absolutely love it. However, I have a million questions and a million discussion points and I'm going to be talking about those in a follow up video. So make sure to go and subscribe for that. Bye for now, it's Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, out.